What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, that guy Ty, and I'm back with another video, man. And we are back on Steelers franchise. Today is week 12. Oh, that's not even my PS5. Hold on. It is week 12, and we are taking on the Cincinnati Bengals in another game where um, I think we all know uh, Bengals and Steelers rivalry, how that goes, and things of that nature. But this is a huge game for the division because, as you can see down here, if I press view standings, if we go to our division, we are third in the division at 5-5. Five and five. However, we are one game behind the Ravens and two games behind the Bengals. And beating the Bengals here will put us at 6-5 and five and the Bengals at 7-4. and four. So we'd be one game back. So this is a huge game, um, as you guys can probably tell, considering, you know, all the circumstances. And we have a breakout running back. <clears throat> and Najee Harris could end up becoming a superstar X-Factor. So, four touchdowns or 200 plus yards rushing and receiving, which is not impossible. It's very difficult, but definitely not impossible. Um, I think we do have to focus on uh, slowing down Joe Burrow and Jamar Chase here today. I think we'll be okay stopping the run. We always have been. Um, let's go sacks goal. I want TJ Wyatt out of to have big games. Have two sacks. We'll have plus five finesse and power moves this week. That's huge. That is huge for our team to start this week. And um, weekly strategy against the Bengals, um, we're still going to go half pass and split. But I think I do like to defend the deep pass here. That's where his best QBR is. It's also short, but I'd rather defend the deep pass and not let anything get behind us. Offensively, what do we want to do? We kind of want to get Najee the ball, don't we? Let's focus on running the ball with Najee Harris. Um, and let's do our, our mini games with Joey Porter and... Uh, Kenny Pickett and see if we can get anything big for those two. So we are going to be fully healthy going into this game against the Bengals. So let's see if we have any upgrades. We do have a couple upgrades to see who it is. It's going to be Connor Hayward. We're just going to work on your blocking, son. Just be a beast blocking, man. We'll take that. And up next, Bengals Steelers from Cincinnati, Ohio. Coming up next. And we are off in Cincinnati, Ohio, as Chris Boswell boots it back. It's going to be a return, the first one we've seen in a long time. Take him down to the 21. Good coverage by our special teams unit there. That might be the first return we've seen this season. And out comes Joe Burrow in the Bengals. Let's see how Joe Burrow is doing this season. Joe Burrow, 15 touchdowns to only two picks, almost 2,000 passing yards, having a really nice season. But we're going to look to slow him and Jamar Chase down this year, this week. And we're going to start off by playing straight-up man-to-man coverage. And they made a conference championship game in back-to-back seasons for the first time ever. At the center of it all is the man they call Joey B. And quick swing outside to number 18. Who is that? I actually don't know who that is. Alan Lazard is a Bengal. Interesting. And let's meet the Bengals' offense, actually, because I saw Alan Lazard. I'm not sure how they would have got him. Joe Burrow, Trevor Simeon is in there. Joe Mixon and Chris Evans, as well as Chase Brown in there at running back. Uh, T. Higgins, Tyler Boyd, Alan Lazard. It looks like Jamar Chase is injured. He is. That's huge news for us. Uh, Irv Smith Jr. is in that tight end. Is Who was their other tight end? They had another tight end, didn't they? Oh, gosh, I guess not. Irv Smith Jr. is going to be their tight end. Orlando Brown at left tackle. Cordell Volson, Ted Carcass. Cody Ford, Lyle Collins is at right tackle going up against TJ Watt today. But let's go look at that injury and see what's going on with Jamar Chase. Jamar Chase has a hit pointer. He's ready to play, but he's not. Alex Kappa is also ready to play, but he's not. Interesting, the Bengals aren't playing them. Maybe they feel like they don't need him, but we should take that as some disrespect here because they think that we don't need... And Burrow's going to get it out quick to Irv Smith. And another first down for the Bengals right now. They are, it looks like there's going to be a long game for us here. And Burrow's going to fumble it. And Quan Alexander was back there and made the first sack of the game for us. And it's going to be third down and 20. Burrow going to throw it. It's somehow caught. That was beautiful coverage by Joey Porter. But Tyler Boyd able to make the grab. Okay, guys, I am back. I had to take a quick break because something happened, so I had to go take care of my business. But I'm back now, and let's get back into the game. I don't know what was happening. 
Uh, I called a timeout on accident, apparently. Okay, that's annoying. Higgins? Come on, me. Oh my god, you got pancaked. I miss it. Quan Alexander saves a touchdown. Oh my god, whoever that was just got pancaked and could have given up a touchdown there. We almost had him there, too, down in the backfield. The Bengals are driving right now. First down. Over the middle. Knocked out by Pat P. That could have been picked. That was a dangerous throw from Joe Burrow there. Give a fake give. Over the middle. It's knocked away. No, please don't tell me that's pass interference. Oh, my God. They call pass interference on Levi Wallace. Oh, I thought that was good defense, bro. I thought that was good defense. I mean, it's not even... Is it P.I.? What? How is this pass interference? He hits him after the ball's gone. That can't be pass interference. Oh, my God. That's such a bad call. That's such a bad call. T.J. Watt is in the backfield. T.J. Watt with his first sack of the game. Beautiful play from T.J. Watt. It's going to be second and goal now. Jamar Chase. T. Higgins is in the end zone. Levi Wallace got cooked again. Ah. Out comes Kenny Pickett in the offense for the first time today. Let's see if we can make some noise. Kenny Pickett had a much better game last week. 10 touchdowns. Still 22 picks, which is way too many, but almost 2,000 yards now. But the focus here today is Najee Harris. Getting him 200 yards or four scrimmage touchdowns. Najee? Najee with a nice run to start the game will pick up eight. 130 yards last week for Najee and a touchdown. Let's not overthink it. Give me a block. Najee cuts it upfield. Najee with another big run. And Najee Harris, two rushes for 24 yards now. The Bengals looking like they have no answer. We're going to come out of like in a run formation, but I'm going to probably throw this here. Deontay's open over the middle. Deontay Johnson picks up a first down. I like running the ball on first down if you guys couldn't tell. Good blocks. Najee has to run someone over and does. Breaks a tackle. And Najee picks up nine. 34 yards already on the ground for Najee Harris in this first in this first little uh, drive of the game. And we have a pitch here which could end up really well if George Pickens can make a block. And Sam Hubbard makes a nice play. And we're going to go play action. We've ran the ball on first down every play here. Um, we have scissors action on the right side with Pat Fryermuth and George Pickens. Pickens is open. Pickens. Oh, my God. It was such a good ball. Oh, my God. I thought that was there. Dax Hill picks it off. Oh, my God. I thought that, that had to be the throw, right? That had to be the throw. I mean, off the play action, Dax Hill is spreading it. I mean, I guess I throw it to fire moves, but I just think Pickens is wide open here. I think it's just a great play by Dax Hill to jump the, to jump the route. I got to throw that to, to Pat Fryermuth. Just don't give him time. Just don't give him time. It's a shot. And Pat Pete knocks it away. It could have been a pick, but I'll take the I'll take the PBU for Pat Pete. Fourth down and five, and the Bengals will punt. Calvin Austin has a slot fade. Deontay Johnson also has a go. Throw it to Deontay. Down the field, he caught it. Deontay Johnson on the go route. A good ball from Kenny to hit him in stride. And Jalen Warren in the game for the first time here today. I'm going to give it to him. Need a block. Got one. Warren to the end zone. Down at the two. Jalen Warren with a huge run there. To bring us into the down to the two-yard line. And we're going to run trap here on first and goal. Pickens is uncovered, but that corner is there, so I know they're in zone. I'm going to run trap. And Najee into the end zone. Touchdown, Najee Harris. Play action. Over the middle, Boyd. Ah, that's frustrating, man. Okay, okay, okay. I know. I don't want to hear it. I know what you guys are wondering. Why are you wearing a different fit? Why does it look like it's daytime? It's actually the next day. I had 
got into some stuff and I'm back now recording this video. I didn't uh, I didn't expect to do that, but I kind of got a call and then I had to go take care of some business. It's a long story. Anyways, we're back now. It's seven seven. I think we're on defense, right? And the Bengals are driving. Yeah, so we gotta we gotta get a stop here because this this is not okay right now. Wait, hold on. my my headphones are off. Guys, lock in. Guys, my headphones are off. Make a tackle. Good job, Quan. The Quan Alexander right there. And TJ Watt and Cameron Hayward are in the backfield. Beautiful job by Watt and Hayward to force a punt by the Bengals. Joe Burrow goes down. And that's huge for us. Because if we can get points before halftime and get the ball back, that'll be huge. It's a beautiful punt. It's a beautiful it's just a perfect punt. See if Magic can get us out of this hole we're in. Najee gonna cut it up. Najee! Najee with the big give and the stiff arm. Najee gets us out to the 26, but there's a flag, and it's probably going to be a hold. And it is a hold. Oh, that's a killer. That's a killer. Isaac Samwalo on the back side of the play. Let's we'll see if we can get fired. It looks like he's one-on-one -on -one with the safety here. I get it. I'm going to get sacked at the one. I'm going to be first down and 10 here for the Bengals. Man, I'm really mad. That was such a good pump by the Bengals to get him out of that hole. And TJ Watt, another sack. That's two and a half sacks today for TJ Watt. It's a pick. Levi Wallace jumps the route. Levi Wallace with the interception. And that's huge. Joe Burrow tried to throw the curl and Levi read it all the way and jumped the route perfectly. And we'll get the ball back. Calvin Austin is in press coverage right now. If this is man to man. I like Calvin Austin a lot. I do like... Oh, my God. It's a bad throw. I I, I meant to throw that to... Um, I meant to throw that to Pat Firemuth, but I just didn't know. I thought Pat Firemuth was RB, and then I... Uh, another pick for Kenny Pickett. The one thing I didn't want to do was give the Bengals the ball back, and that's exactly what we've done here. Minute 47 left. Stop would be huge. Over the middle, Neal is there to make the hit. It's going to be a quick throw over the middle. It's caught by T. Higgins. That cannot be caught. There's three Steelers there in coverage. Whatever they're trying to do. Levi Wallace is over there on T. Higgins, which is the one matchup I'm worried about. It's thrown! Levi breaks it up beautifully. I could have got there with Minka, but Levi Wallace did a good job of recovering. He got beat off the jump. We'll have 27 seconds and two timeouts because of that dumb timeout I accidentally called earlier. It'll be a throw from Urban McPherson. We'll drill it. It'll be 10-7. to seven. We'll get the ball back with about 30 seconds left before halftime. To a flood here. Calvin Austin's open on the sideline. It's caught. Beautiful catch from Calvin Austin. We have four seconds left. Can we? A 61-yarder for Boz. Do we? We do have the win. Boz from 61. It looks good. And it's good. Chris Boswell. Drills from 61 to tie the game at 10. Calvin Austin with a beautiful catch to set us up. Deontay gives me a block. George Pickens with a nice block on the sideline. And Jalen Warren with a stiff arm able to pick up a, a, pick up a first down off a beautiful run. Double slants here. Pickens isn't open. Nothing's open. Going to roll. Throw to Pickens on the sideline. It's intercepted. How, that can't be intercepted. And it's a hold. Oh, my God. This half has started off horribly. It's a hold on Chooks of Cora for. It's going to be another run. It's going to be a give. And Alex Highsmith is there for a, a tackle for loss on Alan Lazard. Great job by Alex Highsmith there. It's over the middle. Joey Porter can't get there. It's a nice tackle by Keanu Neal. Or DeMonte KZ. But off the nice, it, was, it was a good effort from Joey Porter. But Joe Burrow is dicing us up right now. First down and 10 here. From the shotgun, Joe Burrow. Burrow looking, going deep is going to be a throwaway. Throws it out of the back of the end zone. Because he's on the tight end. Mink is running the back. It's going to be a throw. That's just a great, that's a great catch and a great route from Tyler Boyd. I mean, Joe Burrow's under pressure making that throw. That's just, it's un, it's unbelievable. To be honest, it's unbelievable. Cover three, this could be a throw to Fryermuth. No. I throw it to Jalen Warren, and it's just, I'm going to go down. 
They just covered everything perfectly. There's nowhere to throw that football. We're down in one here. It's going to be a run. And Cameron Hayward sheds the block. Beautiful job by Cam Hayward and will force the Bengals to punt again. we run flood here. I mean, I guess we could look to Calvin Austin again. And we will. Calvin Austin's there. It's caught by Austin. Calvin Austin with a huge catch to get us a first down. Probably going to read the right side of the field here. And it's Fryermuth. A great catch from Pat Fryermuth on another corner route. Those have been amazing for us right now. Pat Fryermuth with a great catch. It would be really nice for us here. Samalo going to get up the field. Another good run from Najee. And Najee picks up about 16 there. See if we can get this. See if we can get this to Fryermuth. It's Deontay. It's just a horrible throw. Ah, fourth down and eight. We should take our points here. We should take our points. Boswell with another field goal try. See if he can drill it. And the kick is up from Boz, and Boswell will drill. So Boswell now with two field goals, keeping us in the game. And we're down by four here against the Bengals. First and ten, the Bengals could be running the ball here. If I was them, I probably would. It looks like they're going to throw, though. They will. It's going to be a quick throw. Somehow it's caught. I mean, that just it's unbelievable that Joe Burrow throws that. I believe in our I, – I, I trust my guys. Trust my guys. Burrow going to go down. TJ Watt with another sack. It's going to be fourth and 15 now. And the Bengals will give us the ball back. TJ Watt with a huge sack. Three and a half today. That's huge. And he'll punt it right back to Calvin Austin. Straight to him. If we can get some good blocks, this could be a huge return. Austin probably should have bounced that out. But we'll take the return back to the 21. I like how this looks. It's just it's just beautifully read by Logan Wilson. Ah, I have to throw it to Pat Fryermuth. Quick throw to Fryermuth. Nice catch, and he'll get down. It'll be a first down. God, that's that's just damn it. It's worked so far today. I'm just gonna go quick. Warren can't get it. Oh. They 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 as they they guess run and they were right. Bro gonna try and run. Highsmith is there. No, they're gonna call that roughing. No, I tackled him as he threw it. Oh my god. Highsmith was in the backfield and gets a roughing call. And the Bengals pick up a first down. Oh my god, that cannot be. Alexander with a nice tackle only allows two. Boyd down to the seven. This is not good, man. This is not good. Or we need to at least hold him to three. And they're going to go chew clock. It's going to be thrown over the middle. Knocked away by Pat Pete. We play action. Neal's in the backfield. If they call that roughing the passer... An eligible receiver downfield. I'd rather go third and goal. And they're going to go for this? This is bold by the Bengals. They're going to go for this. I'm going to pass him it here. And it's a touchdown. Alan Lazard scores. And that's pretty much the game here. Unless we can get a block and a return, which I highly doubt happens. God damn it. 24-13. We <sighs> need something quick. Calvin Austin, this would be the time for you to return it, man. If you want to return one, this would be the time. This would be the time. <sighs> okay, return to the 21. We got to go fast. We have to score before the two-minute warning here. I'm, I'm pretty much pre-reading this throw to fire move. It, it, and it's just... Oh! They just cover everything perfectly, bro. They could throw this here. I would, I would like if they threw the ball here. They will. Please don't let him get a first. Well, Alan Lazard gets the first down, even though we're in press coverage and we have a zone right there. And this is going to be a touchdown. Disappointed about several things 
with this ball game, but the self-inflicted wounds, they've had several turnovers. You would have to think that's going to be something they're going to discuss heavily in the film session in the coming days. You're absolutely right about that, partner, because they're going to have to sit in that film room and watch every error that they made and figure out how to not do it in the future. And mentally, I think a lot of the guys are already starting to think about, okay, how do we put this behind us and get better for the next time out? This, they'll use as motivation for the rest of the time that they play to hopefully never be in this type of situation again. Second and 10. Dialing up another pass here. Pick it. And I think that one might have been intercepted, but he will be ruled out of bounds. So this will go only as incomplete. Now they face a third and 10 after back-to-back -back incompletions. Pick it. He'll look to throw it. And that is incomplete. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Got to try it here. He's back to throw. Work in the middle of the field. Calvin Austin has been the best receiver on this team all year. I mean, it's not even close either. I mean, George Pickens and Deontay Johnson have had some, some games, but... It's just, it's been Calvin, it's been Calvin Austin. It's just been Calvin Austin, man. I, there's nothing else to really explain on this. Give Pickens a shot. Interceptions and nearly added to that total. Got his hand on it, couldn't quite corral it. It's been a Pro Bowl type season for him, and the term ball hawk really comes into play, doesn't it? Yeah, I like that one a lot. Pass interference. Want to avoid that type of a player, but sometimes you just can't. He just knows where the ball is. Now, meanwhile, here's a second down throw that's knocked away and incomplete. One final shot for Pickett. He's going to let it go deep for the end zone. And that will be incomplete. I mean, how do you not even throw the ball to the end zone? I mean, do I do a double header? Should I? I mean, I, yeah, why not? Why not? Let's go. I, I'm, I'm ready to play. I, I need to get back for that loss against the Bengals, and I want to beat up on the Cardinals. They have Zeke. Okay. Yeah, I'd rather, I'd rather not have Zeke run all over us. Um, we're gonna run the ball. I, I I know I say that every weekend and I don't, but it's because we get down. It's just it's just annoying. And we are here in Acrisure Stadium, where the Cardinals will take on the Steelers. And there's Zeke, almost a thousand rushing yards already, eight touchdowns. And then there's Kenny Pickett, the second year guy, and we have to get a much better season out of him if we want to be successful. Much better game than usable, and we will start on defense as always. And we are underway from Acrisure Stadium. Steelers Cardinals. This is a huge game for us. I don't know about the Cardinals. They might already be in the playoffs, but we will see Kyler Murray in the Cardinals offense with Ezekiel Elliott, who apparently signed there instead of in New England. So we won't see much of James Conner. 2,500 yards passing for Kyler Murray, 18 touchdowns. Looks pretty good, but hopefully our defense can uh, hopefully our defense can make some make him force him to make some mistakes here. That could be huge today. And the Cardinals will start off with the run. And Zeke has a huge... Oh, my God. That's my bad. I just vacated the middle, and I didn't. I wasn't even paying attention. So, Ezekiel Elliott starts off with the huge run. Is he, oh, my bad. I thought I was on mute. I'm recording right now. Joey Porter with the interception to start the game. Joey Porter. That's... Okay. And Joey Porter with the interception going to give us the ball. Forces Kyler Murray to make a mistake right away. And out comes Kenny Pickett in the offense. I accidentally skipped the intro, but we're going to start off with the throw here. I know it's unusual for us, but I think that Kenny Pickett could have a big game today. And it's going to be the George Pickens real quick, and he gets lit up. Can't hold on to it. I do like fire move. And it's going to be fire move. A beautiful ball from Kenny. And Pat fire move down to the 12-yard line. Deep dig for George Pickens all across the back line of the end zone. Deontay's in the corner. Deontay just stopped running. I mean, 
he's wide open, but just chooses to stop running the route. And I was going to say, I'm going to go for this. And we're going to come out and empty on fourth and two from the four yard line. Calvin Austin. Calvin Austin into the end zone. Touchdown, Steelers. Calvin Austin. Continuing his amazing season as our starting slot receiver. And we'll get Kenny Pickett his first touchdown of the game. And we will go up 7-0 on the Cardinals. I'm going to actually try and cover that back with Cole Holcomb. It's a throw. It's just, what's the what's the flag? Please don't be roughing. If it's another roughing. Who is the PI on? Hold on. There's absolutely no way that there's pass interference on that play. I didn't even touch him. How is that pass interference? Oh my god. Oh, here we go with this again. First down and 10. It's Rondell Moore wide open over the middle. Cause he and, I mean, that's just a great job by Kyler to find the hole in the zone. And I have Quine Alexander and Hollywood Brown right now, which is not pretty. It's wide open, but Murray going to take a shot. Levi Wallace just gets beat by Rondell Moore. Touchdown Cardinals. I mean, I expect Levi Wallace to be able to cover that. It's going to be second and 11. Najee not having the best first quarter. I want to go play action here, actually. Kenny. Looking. Has Pickens wide open. Of course, Pickens will catch it and pick up a first down. 77 yards now for Kenny Pickett already in the first quarter is amazing. If I can get a good double team up to the backer. Nice. Jalen Warren. Pick up seven. We have a tight end screen. I haven't seen this play call yet, but I'm actually really excited to see how this plays out. So there's the fryer move. I mean, that was just not going to go anywhere there. And Boswell will try a field goal from 30 to, or from um, 49. Boswell's kick is up, and it's good. It'll be 10-7. I'll take the lead back. Zach Earth just cooked Joey Porter. I mean, just absolutely cooked him. There's no, there's no better way to describe that. I'm gonna guard Zach Ertz here with Keanu Neal. Now Murray again. Throws it. Neal breaks it up. Great defense from Keanu Neal to break up the corner route for Zach Ertz. Kyler Murray wanted it. Minka has Zach Ertz in coverage. And we're bringing pressure, so Kyler Murray's gonna have to get rid of it fast. Take a shot deep. Pat Pete is there. It's just, why is he diving on the ground? I press square for him to swap the ball, and Rondo Moore just beats Patrick Peterson. Rondo Moore is absolutely destroying our corners right now. Calvin Austin over the middle, another great catch for Calvin Austin. He has been he has been unbelievable this season. Calvin Austin has he's been our best receiver. And I know I keep saying that, but it's because it's true. I need a big block from Darnell Washington out there. He gets me one. Deontay gets me a block. And Maggi will run for nine. Make it second down and one. It's just a huge hole. And Najee, Najee able to spring it down the sideline. Need one block from Deontay. Can't get it, but a big stiff arm. And Najee Harris with a huge run to get us down to the 10-yard line. Beautiful job by our offensive line. It's George Pickens in the end zone. Pickens, touchdown, Steelers. George Pickens and Kenny Pickett's second touchdown of the game. Going to put us up 17 to 14, pending the Boswell extra point, which is good. He's a pass. And Zach Ertz is wide open. TJ Watt was in coverage. Zach Ertz just doesn't want to go down. Oh, hello? No one can tackle Zach Ertz. It's a huge play. We're going to show blitz. Murray. TJ Watt with the sack. Makes up for that blown coverage on Zach Ertz. It's a screen. KZ is there. A great tackle by KZ. Going to make it fourth and 14, and the Cardinals will have to try a field goal. So that big play doesn't end up resulting in much for the Cardinals. It's going to be a field goal attempt. And Chandon Sullivan, who has been elite at blocking kicks, has a chance to block one. He can't. It's going to be 17 up. Cardinals will tie the game up off that huge play from Zach Ertz. It's really important here because we have been not able to Calvin Austin, Austin down the sideline, and Calvin Austin in his speed with another 
huge play to get himself wide open for Kenny Pickett, who makes the throw. It's going to be a throw to Pickens. In the back of the end zone, it's underthrown. I mean, that just has to be thrown to the back corner, and it's a touchdown. Fourth and 11, we'll take our three. Boswell from 47. But he was unable to get away from the defender. Couldn't create space. Couldn't uncover the end of the route. Boswell hits the kick. 20 to 17. And Murray's under pressure. Murray going to run. And outruns Alexander. It's a big run for Kyler Murray, who breaks a tackle. Breaks another tackle. Oh, my. And Kyler Murray runs for 32 yards. Can be a run? No, it's a pass. Let's play action. I mean, Murray's. Gonna get sacked by Alex Highsmith. Is, if, they, if they're not blitzing, which they're not. It's gonna be a throw to Pickens over the middle. And it's a first down. First Pickens ended up wide open on that route. A good job by Pickett to get it out. We're, we're gonna try and get it to him on a screen here. And this could be a blitz, and this could be a, an amazing play. It is a blitz. Get it out to Najee. I have blockers. Picks up one block. Breaks a tackle. Najee Harris all the way to the 30 yard line. Najee Harris is balling today. we come back for Deontay on the right. I kind of like this route from Calvin Austin here. It's been open before. And it's open again. Pick it to Austin. Touchdown, Steelers. Calvin Austin. Another touchdown. The speed of Calvin Austin just got him wide open on that route. And Kenny Pickett delivered a perfect ball to split the safeties. And we will go up 27-17. We did leave a lot of time on the on the clock for the Cardinals, but with Kyler Murray at quarterback, this could it could not matter because he's not the best at uh, two minute drives, two minute drills. And Alexander's in coverage on Zach Ertz, which could be a problem because Zach Ertz has torched us all game today. It's a corner. It's a throw. It's intercepted by Demonte KZ. KZ gonna cut it back across the field and go down, but there is a flag, and I have a bad feeling it's on me. It is. Illegal contact on Quan Alexander. God damn it, man. Just, just. Ah, that's frustrating. And the Cardinals look like they might run the ball out after that bad throw from Kyler Murray. They won't to throw. Murray going to go down. Quan Alexander and TJ Watt get back there to make the sack. And it's second down to 15 now. And the Cardinals will take a timeout. Interesting by the Cardinals. Because if they don't get a first down here, that could be giving us time to get to score again before the half. And I don't know if that's what they want. It's a And TJ Watt there again to knock the pass down. Third down and 15, and we still have three timeouts and a minute to go here. And we're going to hope for a sack off this corner blitz from, uh, from it's a run, Neal. Inside and Minka and KZ make a tackle. We're going to take a timeout. 55 seconds and two timeouts is more than enough time, especially if we get good field position from Calvin Austin's return. Slot fade for Calvin Austin. It's not open, but Firemuth is wide open over the middle. We're going to go fast here. Um, I'm going to go pin on the right side with Austin and uh, Pickens. Let's see what we can get. Austin open over the middle. Austin speed. Austin down to the 30. And we're going to call our first time out. Austin's open. Pick it. Delivers. Austin. Touchdown again. Calvin Austin. A huge game. Calvin Austin is absolutely balling today. And Kenny Pickett with his third touchdown of the game. And we have 34 points at halftime. The Cardinals defense cannot do anything against us right now. Calvin Austin, if we can get time, and he doesn't even, it's going to be Deontay. It's just good coverage. We're going to punt. But that's a good start to the second half. They cannot afford to give up more points and fall further behind, so well done to force the punting situation. Oh, that's, that's, that, is that running the kicker or roughing the kicker? Is that roughing the kicker? We might have roughing the kicker, and that could be a first down. We do have roughing the kicker. And we will get a first down. That's huge. We can get a good block from George Pickens. A nice little crackdown block would be nice. Or just get up to the next level. A good block from Pickens. And Najee will pick up 13 or 14 there. 90 yards here for Najee Harris on 12 rushes today. He's been almost... Our whole offense has been unstoppable today. So if I can get a nice block... Austin, I'm just going to lob it. I'm just going to lob it. Calvin Austin! Austin dives! Touchdown! Steelers again! It's a counter. 
Neal shoots the gap, and Christian Barmore is in there as well. Good play by Christian Barmore to shed the block, and it's going to be third down and eight here. And I do want to bring that corner on a blitz again. Zeke is going to be a pass. We know that. Juan Alexander has Zach Ertz here. Kyler Murray over the middle, caught by Rondell Moore. Hit. Picks up a first down. Kyler Murray, check it down to Ertz. Ooh, Zach Ertz has been unstoppable today, surprisingly. I mean, that old-ass man just does not want to get tackled. I'm worried about that Rondell Moore go on the right side there. That's why I have the... Neil gets absolutely destroyed. Minka makes a tackle. Another good run for Zeke. I mean, we were expecting pass, and I think we just need to bring our backers back in the game and have them line up close to the, to the line of scrimmage. And Zeke is tired, so if they run to him and we hit him, he could fumble. We're going to give it to him again. And Zeke is hit by Heisman and TJ Watt for a loss of four. TJ Watt and Alex Heisman have been elite today. Taking it 14. You're going to be a play action. It's thrown. Picked off. Pat Pete. Pat Pete intercepts it. And Pat Pete has to outrun. He can't. It's going to be down to the five. Patrick Peterson with the big interception. Going to give us the ball back. We're back at the five-yard line. But honestly, does it even matter with how good our offense is? Look, we'll see. Najee is tackled back at the two-yard line. Deontay's open. Going to hit him. Picks up eight or ten, maybe. Deontay Johnson. Pick has 325 through the air right now. It's going to be third down and two. And I think the right th the right thing to do is run play action here because I don't see them expecting it. And they could be just a throw to Pickens. Just throw to him. Pickens caught it. He dropped it. Dante Fowler broke it up. And we'll punt. If they do, props to him. They don't. To throw over the middle. Moore breaks a tackle. I mean, Rondell Moore has just been unbelievable today, to be honest. He has been unable to... We haven't, we haven't been able to stop Rondell Moore no matter what we do. Somebody gets pass. It's going to be a read option. TJ Watt! Another pass deflection. TJ Watt is all over the field today. And I'm going to play the sticks here with our guys. I don't want to I don't want to throw him right at the sticks because that's usually what seems to happen. They like to play those nickel or sub packages, don't they? Oh, it's going to be Kyler Murray's going to run. And I missed a big hit. Make a hit him. Kyler Murray with a big run picks up a big gain. He has three rushes for 72 yards right now. I don't know if I should be a man coverage here, but fuck it, right? Murray goes down. Alex Highsmith with his second sack of the game. Alex Highsmith in the backfield as well as TJ Watt being back there. And TJ Watt goes into the zone after that. Give a give to Elliott, and it's Christian or Roman else with a big, big hit. Murray, Hayward's following. Murray throws and it's caught by who else but Zach Ertz. Touchdown Cardinals. I mean, they're gonna go for two here. Zach Ertz has been unstoppable. I'm gonna guard it myself this play. Be a throw over the middle. It's just, I mean, yeah, running a blitz there off the corner probably wasn't smart. They'll pick up the two-point conversion. That's P.I. Please be P.I. because that's P.I. Yeah, thank you. That's pass interference. I mean, the throw to the throw to Farmuth was open, and we'll take the first down. Farmuth with a nice block. Najee runs off his butt and picks up 12, and that's 100 yards rushing for Najee Harris today. Great game from Najee today. Up over probably 1,000 yards on the season now. I think they're expecting run. Farmuth's open. That's just a bad ball. I don't understand why that's such a bad throw. When I throw a bullet pass, he lobs it right to Buda Baker. Yeah, strain his quad. I mean, that's really dumb, to, to be honest. That's just really dumb. And T.J. Watt, three sacks for T.J. Watt today. And it's going to be fourth and 21. We're just going to play off here. I mean, Neil's on Ertz. And he goes down Cameron Hayward. The, the big boys on the Steelers' D-line. Two big plays. And we're going to take the ball back in the red zone. And I'm going to run this to the left behind... A good block. Najee. 
heading for the end zone. Najee will reach down to the two yard line. Najee Harris, 120 yards rushing today. And I'm actually going to look to throw this flat to Deontay Johnson. If they're a man, this could be wide open. It is open. And Deontay, is that not a touchdown? He got in. Touchdown, Deontay Johnson. Touchdown for Kenny Pickett. I think that's his sixth of the game. Good defense from Joey Porter. Just a nice catch from Zach Pascal. I mean, that's good. That's that's great coverage there. I can't even be mad at that. Neil can't make the tackle. Minka and James Pierre do. But I mean, that's with great read by Cam Neil. Just couldn't make the tackle. Try to throw on third down. Yeah, Joey Porter gets cooked by Zach Ertz again. Joey Porter, Zach Ertz has had Joey Porter's number all game. Joey Porter drops a pick, could have been his second of the game. Joey Porter having a nice game here today. A couple of QB hurries. TJ Watts tired. But just stay on the field. Two more plays, man. Two more plays. And Watts tired, but still gets a sack. His fourth of the game, TJ Watt. Fourth down, but TJ Watt is now in the zone. It's a throw. Zach Pascal caught it. Murray throwing. Intercepted. DeMonte KZ. Is he going to take a knee? KZ going to go down in the end zone. DeMonte KZ. Picks off Kyler Murray, and that should end it. Just a couple runs to Najee, maybe a first down or two. And I think that that'll be it. I think I'm going to actually go play action. I might hit Darnell Washington here. I will. Washington going to pick up a first down and essentially end the game. Darnell Washington going to end the game and pick up the first down. 48 points and over almost maybe over 500 yards of offense. But just a great game overall by our offense. Kenny Pickett throws for 333 yards, six touchdowns for Kenny Pickett. Unbelievable game. Rushing. Najee goes 22 for 137 and 6.2 a carry. And Jalen Warren averages five a carry as well. It's just a great game. And then defensively, TJ Watt with four sacks. Alex Highsmith had one and a half. Ken Hayward had one. And Quan had half a sack. Pick for Pat Pete, KZ, and Joey Porter Jr. No fumbles for us. But just a great, a great game by our entire offense. And defense, too. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. I'm going to cut it here because I know it's already been probably almost over an hour. If you guys like, comment, view, share, and subscribe, baby. And I'm gone.